Some reasons that you might not want to get one of these converters. Should you get one of these if your TV only has a digital audio out port to connect it to a speaker system that doesn't have that same kind of audio port? Yes, you absolutely should get one of these. Well, what if your TV system does have RCA or AUX like your speaker system, but you would still rather use the digital audio port that it also has, can you still use this converter? Well, yeah, you could use it, but I would say it's rather pointless. And I'm gonna go over it why here in just a minute. Plus, that'll also help explain why you really can't use these to get surround sound, unfortunately. We'll go over it all here on Simple Cafe Sound, tutorials to the point. First, let's go over the justification of why you do want to use these converters. See, these are here to serve as a bridge between two ports that simply don't connect with each other like in your case, right? See, your TV has a digital optical audio port, also known as SPDIF or TOSLINK, and the way to connect with that is using one of these optical cables. But unfortunately, that cable won't go into your sound system, right? But what it can go into is these converters. There's a port here, this one is labeled TOSLINK, and it will take that optical cable. And out the other end are RCA ports. It might also have an aux port. Either way, you can use those to continue your audio connection into your speaker system. There, connection made and you're ready to go. Now, before you buy yours, let me tell you how to make sure that you get the right kind so you don't end up wasting time and money. Because believe it or not, there actually is another kind that actually performs the complete opposite function. See, this one is called an analog to digital converter. While this one, the right one, is called a digital to analog converter. And you see, the name actually explains it all. Since you want to convert a digital signal from your TV over into an analog signal, well, you need a digital to analog audio converter. Because otherwise, using the wrong kind is going in a different direction. You want to go from here to there, digital to analog. Which brings us to our second point. That is, if your TV can connect to your sound system using its auxiliary or RCA ports, well, don't bother with one of these converters. Just make your connection. Okay, well, thanks, but actually, no thanks. I'm still gonna use my TV's digital optical port to get fine digital sound. Well, here's the thing. When they say digital audio, they're not saying that the audio that comes out of your speakers is digital. The digital part is referring to the transmission of this audio signal. And while digital can be great, the digital signal will still need to be converted into an analog signal in the end. I'm telling you this so that you don't look down on analog signals. Because you know what? Sound itself is an analog phenomenon. And the word analog, to put it simply, is a constant flow that variates in intensity. Example, when you speak, your voice is a constant flow of vibrations that make waves of sound. And you know what? If you send pulses of electricity through your speaker, it too will vibrate and generate sound waves. So you see, since those pulses of electricity that you're sending through your speaker are also a constant flow that variates in intensity, is what makes your speaker itself an analog invention. Your aux and RCA cables too, since they carry that flow of constant electricity. So analog signals is what makes all of this possible. You try sending a digital signal to your speaker and it won't be able to do anything with that. That's because it needs pulsating charges of electricity. Why then are there speakers that can take a digital optical cable? Well, that's because internally they're converting that digital signal into an analog signal with a pre-installed converter. And now you might be frustrated wondering that if it's all going to get converted to analog in the end anyway, then what's the point of using a digital signal in the first place, right? Well, there are advantages, and one of the primary advantages is that using such a small cable can actually still carry five channels of audio, while RCA and auxiliary are limited to two. Which is what leads us into our final question. 
That is, can you get surround sound with this converter? And let's keep this simple. I just mentioned that an optical digital cable can carry five audio channels, five separate individual channels of sound. And this is what makes up what we all know as a home theater sound experience. So here we are on this side with your TV, sending five distinct audio channels through this one cable that you wanna plug into your converter, right? To make the jump into your audio sound system. Okay, well, here we go with the five audio channels coming into this converter. Now that's great, but the signal is now being converted into an analog signal, which could be five audio channels. However, an RCA and aux cable, again, are limited to just two channels of audio. Now while I said that it could come out as five audio analog channels, that's not the case because I just haven't seen any converter with five of these audio outports. And why is that? Well, it's probably just due to a simple lack of demand. If nobody's buying that, well, why make them, right? I mean, we could all imagine putting two of these converters out in front of buyers. One of them looks huge and complex and more expensive, while the cheaper, smaller one is going to do the job too. Just not the job of five analog audio channels. I know that this is probably not what you wanted to hear, but at least now you're going to save some time and money. And I encourage you to keep looking for options with this new knowledge that you're learning. Okay, well, remember me for the next tutorial, and I'll see you on the next one.